Hello to our viewers across New Zealand and around Australia. I'm Philip Duncan. We're tracking a couple of big lows and also a couple of very big highs as our autumn weather pattern starts to kick in, but we've still got a little hint that summer's only just starting to finish. So let's take a look at the animated wind map. Today we've added into the wind the moisture as well. So you can very clearly see where the two cyclones or X cyclones are bringing down all this moisture across the northern half of Australia. Veronica's still fairly active, uh, but Trevor has really fallen apart is now just a rainmaker. We've also got this subtropical airflow moving in towards New Zealand. That's why we're seeing that very heavy rain on the west coast and higher pressure to the north means that front will weaken in the next day or two but there is a little bit of rain coming for the very dry parts of the North Island and that happens again next week when the remnants of Trevor drift across the Tasman and join a cold front. So we're going to touch all of that. Let's get into the rain for New Zealand to start with. And this is just up until Wednesday morning, five o'clock Wednesday morning. And you can see, again, very big rainfall totals on the west coast, over 200 millimetres coming before Wednesday. And then more of that heavy rain moves up. Now, this doesn't capture what falls across the rest of Wednesday. We'll bring that to you tomorrow and uh, into Thursday. But uh, there's more rain coming for the western and southwestern sides of the North Island, pretty much the dry areas in this corner and even around some parts of Waikato. We've got a little bit of relief coming for you. So this is how it looks on the rain map for Wednesday. That heavy rain starts to ease on the west coast, but it may still be quite heavy for a time in the morning north of Westport. Watch for possible slips and flooding. Once it moves into Cook Strait, it starts to weaken because of that big belt of high pressure in the North Island. So the front weakens, but there will be some relief coming into these dry areas, as I just mentioned mentioned and then by night time it does move into northern areas. There's also a cooler southwest change and that's prob probably a little more felt on Thursday uh, when you've got high pressure sort of locking it in. But in saying that, despite the cool change, temperatures are only resetting to normal. That shows you how much warmer than average we've been for the last couple of weeks. So we get a cool change where the temperatures drop a few degrees and it goes back to normal, not colder than usual. So that's only for down here. For everyone else, it is still warmer than average. A little bit of rain around here. It will be patchy in Waikato. Not everyone will get the relief you need, but some will. So it's fairly positive, but not completely positive. By Friday, uh, some of those showers still lingering, which is great news. We want them to linger for those areas that are dry. If you're a city person and you're not interested in the rain, just look at it this way. If we can get rain in some of these other areas, it lowers the cost of your vegetables. So it's not all bad. Uh, so there is a little bit of rain and shower activity in the north here and further south, it starts to get warm again as the northerlies return. So this weekend is warm and dry. We've got north to northeasterly winds developing, fairly dry, a couple of isolated showers, but Saturday is looking pretty good and it warms back up in the south after those couple of slightly cooler days. But like I say, it's only resetting back to average. It's not going cold, just normal. And then we get to Sunday and we're back to the windy nor'westers across the South Island. Rain clouds building, the remnants of Cyclone Trevor joining forces now with a new low coming out of the Southern Ocean. So next week looks like this. A lot different to what we've been seeing around New Zealand lately. We've got rain moving in towards the North Island. That's the remnants of Cyclone Trevor there. And then we've got another system coming out of the Southern Ocean. And these two are very likely to merge as we head in towards Tuesday. So April 1, April 2 next week, perhaps the best chances we've seen in a while for rain around the dry North Island. And like I say, it's partially to do with the remnants of Cyclone Trevor. This is the current tracking. So this is where it made landfall on Saturday, coming right down very close to Alice Springs but it is just slightly to the north it is weakening the air pressure is 998 so it is no longer really a storm at all it's just well I guess it's a rainstorm now and it is when you look at the rainfall figures they are huge so we talked the other day about Alice Springs getting maybe a year's worth of rain in two days they are just on the outer edges of it that area in white that's 200 millimeters and beyond. I think it could be easily up to 300 meters, millimeters, not meters. That would be a very different story. So 300 millimeters of rain, that's more than a year's worth of rain falling in these dry areas. So this is all pushing in towards uh, Queensland and maybe some parts of New South Wales. Brisbane's got plenty of this rain moving in over it over the next few days. And also it comes with thunderstorms. And then further to the west, you can barely see what is uh, what was Veronica, but it, it, is, it was started up here, it came all the way down, it has fallen apart, it is right on the very western side of the screen, 
Some heavy rain still falling in that area, but the good news is Veronica's weakening and will fall apart just out at sea off the coastline there in the next day or so. So there's some calm, dry weather coming to Australia uh, on the western side, but it'll take a little bit longer, another four or five days to clear off uh, that eastern side as well. That is all from me. We will keep you up to date with what is going on, not only in New Zealand, but also around Australia. We're not finished with the cyclone season yet. April can still be a very busy month, so we'll be keeping a very close eye on the tropics in our part of the world. That's all from me. Enjoy the rest of your day.